it is probably the most stressful and exciting two days of the year, starting today, right now, about 15 minutes ago. March Madness. I did fill out a few brackets, only one is for money, it's between our roommates, and um, based on all I've seen about college basketball this year is that I think this year is really a wild card. I think there's a few teams that could upset or make a run that people maybe don't expect. I think even the good teams, the really good teams, are vulnerable to lose because they have uh, recently. Kansas was taken down by Kansas State in their tournament early. I mean, Michigan was a low seed in the Big Ten tournament. They made a run. North Carolina lost in their tournament for their uh, for the ACC, and then Duke won it as a lower seed. So it's really, I think it's really just a wild card. Just going to go ahead and say it before I know anything that happens. Uh, Middle Tennessee, I really like. UNC Wilmington, I picked them over Virginia in, I think, two of my brackets. Um, I hate both Maryland and Xavier. I pretty much flipped a coin both times between them, although I think Maryland has the edge. West Virginia and Notre Dame, I think they're both good, but I feel like they're just going to blow it. Um, I think they'll both get out of the first round, and then whoever wins between them will, them will be okay, and then they'll blow it uh, the game after that when they're playing like a one seed, I think. Wichita, in one of my one or two of my brackets, I had them winning against Dayton and then beating Kentucky. They're coming in on a hot winning streak here, and I think they could just continue it. Kentucky's a little vulnerable. They're not as good as they've been in the past. So if I'm looking for a team that's a high seed that's going to get upset early, I'm looking at Kentucky probably. Although Gonzaga always seems to blow it at some point, so they might do that uh, once again. Butler, I wasn't too keen on. Uh, I had them losing to... I think it's Middle Tennessee, actually, um, in the second round, and yeah, I'm not really sure about I'm not really sure about them for some reason. Oh, also, Rhode Island, really consistent team, put up puts up pretty good points. I put them over Oregon since Oregon's one of their better players is down, so I put them over Oregon in the second round. So hopefully that happens. Overall, I, I did like four or five brackets. So I mean, I have a bunch of different scenarios that I could see happening. That's why I did a few. For the one for our room, I picked North Carolina to win. Um, for two that I entered in like ESPN challenges or whatever, I picked Kansas. And then one for my hometown, I picked Louisville actually. Those are my predictions basically. Hopefully I didn't miss any. I'm pretty sure that's, that's most of my upset predictions or thoughts about those teams that are going to make runs. One team I definitely picked against this year is Iowa State. I picked them every year. And I hate picking them because they always blow it for me. So no, I didn't pick them this year. I picked them in the first round and in the second round. No way. My stress levels aren't as high as in years past because I don't have as much money on the line as I sometimes do. Um, like my group at home, we didn't pay it all for ours. And I'm only doing like five bucks here. So I don't really care that much. Um, and plus, the only thing I'm really stressed out about it is like actually picking my bracket. I probably stared at each one for at least 25 minutes before I finalized them. Because I just I could foresee so many different scenarios coming. That's why I ended up doing like three or four brackets because I just didn't, I didn't, nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody's going to get a perfect bracket, but I really just couldn't make a decision on a couple things. And I could also see a few teams moving on and winning it. So I, I had to do a few. I just had to. So yeah, anyways, those are my predictions before I know anything happens. And uh, we'll see what happens later on. <laughs> Fuck. Bro, this is no good. This is no good. Colorado's close. What the f- yeah! Like, watch this! Like, what are you doing? He purposely fouled? But- Cause he thought they were losing. so dumb! Oh my god, he's gonna fucking win it. Would they have won the game? Uh, it's hard to say. You suck. You are a fucking idiot! Oh my god! You just fucked up my bracket. Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> Biggest of the so, my predictions for day one, I'd say I did pretty well. So at this point in time, I'm not at the point where I want to like, if I had a piece of paper that had my bracket on it, I don't want to like light it on fire and throw it out, you know? Like I'm doing okay. Um, I was mad when I finally went back and checked my brackets that two games that I was unsure about, the Maryland versus Xavier game and the Northwestern versus Vanderbilt. Originally I had Xavier in all my brackets and I had Northwestern in all my brackets. And when I added two more brackets, I went back and changed it to Maryland and 
Vanderbilt. And then I didn't realize I went and changed the other brackets I had to that as well for whatever reason. I guess I thought I was changing two of them each time because I was staring at each of them so long. So I ended up switching those and I got both of those wrong on every single one of mine. So that was pretty dumb. Um, felt pretty stupid for that. Predictions for day two, if I didn't already say them, Rhode Island I'm thinking win. And I don't even know if I have any really big upsets. Maybe Wichita if you call that an upset. UNC Wilmington almost got it done yesterday. That was close. Cody, my roommate, picked Princeton over Notre Dame. He almost got that one. Yeah, I don't know. Couple, couple good teams moving on by the skin of their teeth there. At the end of the day, I don't have a lot of money invested in this this year. I only have $5 in. But it's still nice to win all my other bracket competitions, even though I don't think I ever have in the past. But it all comes down to whoever uh, picks the winner, really. In our room, there's four of us, and all four of us have different winners' picks. So basically, whoever's, who's ever winner wins the tournament is probably going to win between us and win the $15 pot, or the $20 pot. Day two, more excitement coming forward. I have class, so I'm going to miss a couple of the early games. That's all right, because I don't really care um, too, too much. I'm not overly invested. I'm still in day two waiting for that big upset. Like, I don't think, if Rhode Island wins, I don't even think it's an upset. And if Wichita wins against Dayton, that's not even an upset. So, like, second round is really where I think the bigger upsets are going to come, maybe between like that middle Tennessee team and I think they play Butler now like that could be a big upset or you know one of the top teams to drop to someone not so good so it'll be interesting to see what today brings and then into tomorrow I'll try to keep you updated with maybe some reactions and stuff but yeah that's all pretty much I have to say today I'm doing well so far who do you have in this game Oklahoma State I don't know uh, my fucking bracket's a mess dude I don't know well, you know, it depends on which bracket I look at. I'm pretty sure I have, I have them split. Yeah. I like Oklahoma State, so I probably have Oklahoma State in two, two out of three. Oh, that makes it tough. Sorry, just miss. I have Oklahoma State. Oh, he's going to ice him. Shit. I have Oklahoma State. <laughs> Giving him a chance. Got thrown in. There's three seconds left. They really got to fucking cook. That's got to be like, you all the way down, bomb it. He's well, it depends if he misses. If he, if he misses, it's going to take half a second off. Ooh. Everybody misses sometime. Oh, that's going to hurt. Toss that in. Just got to pop something. Oh! A valiant, valiant shot, though. Wow. <laughs> he crushed that shot. Might be the last shot of his career. You know, at least it was a good one. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect this to be a 90-point game for both no. of them. So we're about midway through the Friday games now. Um, nothing really too shocking. SMU blowing a couple people's brackets that I know. Um, big game on right now, Creighton versus Rhode Island. Uh, my roommate Casey has Creighton like in the Final Four or Elite Eight or something like that. So he's banking on them winning, and I banked on Rhode Island winning like two games, so that's a pretty big one. Uh, a couple close ones this morning. Michigan, really good on their free throws late. That was key. That they would have missed even one or two of them. They would have lost the game because Oklahoma State was just going right down the court every single time and laying up for a score. Don't know how much basketball I'll be watching later, but, you know, I'm sure I'll get all the updates of people screaming and saying that their brackets are fried or whatever. Fun fact, though, RMU women's basketball begins their NCAA tournament today. They are playing Notre Dame, which is a number one seed, in Notre Dame on St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah, that's not very good. They will probably get crushed. Actually, I know for a fact they will get crushed. Hopefully it'll be a little bit closer than their game was last year against UConn when they actually did get destroyed, which is fair because, I mean, they're a number one seeded team versus us, a 16 seeded team, so... You can't expect too much. It's still really cool to be there. Unfortunate that it has to be Notre Dame in Notre Dame on St. Patrick's Day. That's like triple whammy, I feel like. That's like as bad as you could get it. So we'll cross our fingers for that one.